Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello. Hi, can you hear me well? Yes. Okay, excellent. So how are you doing today? Ana Maria, Roberto, and my dad. Oh, fine, thank you. And you, teacher? I'm really, really good. I'm feeling great. Did you have a lot of work today? My day, Anna. Okay. Um, a, li a, li a little bit. A little bit. Okay. Sonia del Transito, welcome, Isaac. Margarita is connecting now. Excellent. All right, so we're going to get started in one minute. Okay. Um, let me see, Karen is coming now. Karen Heyman. Where is that last name from? It's not really common. Karen Heyman, can you hear me? Yes. Teacher, una, tengo una consulta. Okay, what is the question, Ana Maria? De la, de la, plata, de la plataforma, pero... Um, porque ahorita no recuerdo cuál apartado es este, uh -huh. verdad que no dio su número de my phone el 7029 number. es para hacer la consulta no, wait a second I'm going to I'm going to send you a message to the what's up okay. but today we are going to study a little bit about the platform eh, hoy les voy a explicar un poquito sobre la plataforma porque creo que algunos están teniendo dificultades para responder correctamente pero no porque no sepan sino porque hay alguna coma algún punto y por eso no les marca como correcto ok uh -huh. yeah. thank you you're welcome Okay, so um, we're ready to go. It's a little hot here, but I suppose that is because I live in San Miguel. What's the weather like in San Salvador, in Aguachapan, in Santa Ana, in La Libertad? Is it cold? It's a little fresh. In Aguachapan? Pan is fresh. Okay. Okay, so now uh, Loida is here, Yanira, Teresa, Elena, uh, Milena is here too. Welcome. And Miguel Navarro. Okay, so let's get started. Um, we're going to begin uh, with a, a little. Okay, now I see you, Victoria. Welcome. Nice to see you. Okay. Hi, good to see you. Hello. So, um, yesterday we just discussed a little bit about uh, music, right? So, um, something that everybody loves. Okay, is food. However, 
not everybody likes to cook or not everybody is very good or has a lot of experience at cooking. So raise your hand, raise your hand if you are, if you like cooking, raise your hand if you like cooking. Let's see who likes cooking here. Okay, Milena and no more. Okay, uh -huh. raise your hand if, let me check, if you like cooking, hello Rodrigo, if you like cooking but you don't have a lot of time to do it, maybe that's the reason why. Let's see, is access, yes, I don't have time, okay. So when you have the chance to cook, when you have the chance to cook, what do you like to cook? Okay, Teresa, thank you for letting me know about that. So Isaac, let's start with you. When you have the opportunity to cook, what do you like to cook? I like to cook pizza. Pizza, wow. Okay, it's interesting. Uh, next person, Victoria. What is something that you like to cook or that you think that you can cook well? In my case, I think it's chow mein. Probably that would be the, the one the dish that I cook sometimes. And I have an opinion that it's not so bad. Okay. So I don't know if Victoria can use the microphone. We're going to continue with Janita. Janita, can you hear me? Uh, not sure. Miguel? No, I, I like, I like to cook um, fried fish. Oh, fried fish. That's really good. Fried fish. Um, Karen, thank you, Miguel. Karen, um, Heyman, then Sonia del Transito. Good evening, teacher. Hello. I evening. like to cook uh, chicken. Chicken. Okay, excellent. Uh, chicken is a really good option, right, to cook because they have different types of preparations, different uh, dishes that you can prepare with that. Okay, uh, Roberto. And then my dad. I think that Roberto is at work right now. So maybe my dad can tell us a little bit about her dish. Okay, so we have a volunteer here, Rodrigo. Tell us, please. Hello, everybody. When I have the opportunity to cook, I prefer to cook in tacos. I prefer to cook tacos with chicken or with meat. I cut the meat and onion or and lemon and, mm -hmm. and yeah, okay. I like the tacos awesome. and the food. Wait, well, yeah. if you haven't eaten dinner, I'm sorry. Probably you're going to get hungry if you're listening to a lot of different dishes. Okay, so yeah, with tacos, well, the three main meats that, that we use are chicken, beef, and pork, right? Those are the three most common ones. Chicken, beef, and <laughs> pork. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my day, you raise your hand now. Go ahead. Hello. Hello. I like to cook a hamburger, pizza, and chicken. Okay. No more. Yes. Really good food. Um, homemade pizza is good. Okay. Homemade pizza is good. Uh, 
Okay, so next person in the list is Ana Maria. And then Margarita Argueta. I like to cook different um, dishes. Uh -huh. um, I to learn. Ah, okay. So good. So you have different. Uh, I prefer uh, Salvadorian um, dishes. Era. Ah, you can say Salvadorian food, Salvadorian. Uh, Salvadorian food. Ah, uh -huh, Salvadorian food. Okay. Yeah, Salvadorian cuisine. It's really good. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you, Ana Maria. Uh, Margarita? I like to cook steak. Steak. Okay. Awesome. Steak is delicious, especially for lunch, right? It's really good. Um, Elena Martinez? Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Ah, cierto, ¿verdad? No me estoy despidiendo. <laughs> Espero eh, que no. <laughs> um, I like cook uh, China. Chinese food. food. China. Food, China. Uh -huh, Chinese food, yes. Ah, oh, interesting. Um, beef. And beef. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Uh, next one, Loida. Hi, good evening. Good evening. I like spaghetti. Spaghetti. Yes, spaghetti. because it's easy. It's easy, yeah, but not everybody makes good spaghetti, so. I do. There, yeah, it has a specific, <laughs> specific point when it's really good. Okay, excellent. Uh, but the, the most important when you make spaghetti is the sauce. The sauce has to be good. Um, Glenda, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, good so good evening. Um, I like to cook tacos and I usually cook Mexican food. Mexican food. Yes. I love Mexican food. Okay, excellent. So same as Rodrigo, you love tacos. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Linda. Alba Aguilar. I like to cook pasta, Salvadorian food, chicken, mm. and I can a little bit dessert. Wow. But I have to practice more. <laughs> okay, cooking desserts takes a lot of patience. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but they're delicious. They're exquisite. Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Alba. Soveda. You're welcome. Good evening. Good evening. I I like cook. Uh, roast mm, meat roast verdad? roast meat roast meat well and... in this case you can say roast beef or roast uh -huh, chicken that's correct okay got it okay and maybe pasta but it's not usually ah okay okay maybe pasta but it's not so usual for you Excellent. Yes. Um, let me see. We're missing Jancy here. Lasagna is a little difficult to, to prepare, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yancy, Hello, teacher. Hello. I like cook and um, um, fast food uh -huh. and Mexican food. Okay, fast food and Mexican food specifically. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Um, You're sure. welcome. Victoria, you can hear me now. Uh, yes. 
Okay. Yes. So what about you? I I went to I went to the bath. Uh, sorry. Ah, no problem. Don't worry. I like to cook spaghetti, but because it's really easy, and tacos and rice. I love rice. Ah. Okay. And um, I'm not sure if um, Ana Gloria and Karen Heyman, well, Heyman are are there. If you can listen to me. Hello, teacher. Um, Hi, I like to cook uh, pupusas. Pupusas. Okay. So, uh, do you make pupusas frequently or just sometimes? Frequently. Um, every day. Really? Wow. Okay, so that's that's curious, right? Because um, a lot of people love pupusas and eating pupusas every day it would be amazing. <laughs> okay, lucky family. Now we're going to continue with the class. So I hope that you uh, studied a little bit, that you practiced a little bit what we were studying in the previous two sessions. And uh, today, as I told you yesterday, we're going to be practicing WH question, okay? WH question. And um, I am going to share the slides with you right now. Here, okay. Uh, what is it here? So yesterday we practiced a little bit with the possessive adjectives. We were using the different pronouns. As you remember, uh, we had I, you, he, she, it, we, they, and the contractions that we can make with the verb be. So, um, I'm your, his, she's, it's, we're, uh, we're, and there, right? We're and there. Um, so we focus on pronunciation, right? So we have to be careful with pronunciation when we are learning language because sometimes that can affect the communication, right, with other people. So, um, and the possessive adjectives my, your, his, her, it's, our, and their. All right, we did the exercise, we checked the answers, and now we are going to practice the WH questions. But before I show you that, uh, can you please tell me what are the WH questions that you remember or that you know? There are different WH questions. What, why? Okay, I'm going to write Where? that in the chat, okay? So you say, what? Uh-huh, what is one? Why, uh-huh, excellent. Who? Where, who? Uh-huh. How? Correct. So, and we have more, right? We have more uh, when and where. So we have different WH questions that ask specific information. So for that, we are going to study and practice these uh, questions today. So, if I need, let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I need six volunteers. We start with the first two. Okay, Soveda and Rodrigo, Ana Maria and Alba, okay. Milena and 
I need one more, one more. Let me check. Excuse me, Miguel. Richard, dijo okay. Milena o Elena? Milena. Ok. Ok. Es so que a veces I'm... me confundo. Ah, ok. So I'm going to pronounce okay. Milena. Ok, so okay. Milena, Soveida, Alba, Ana María. Uh, we have Miguel and Rodrigo, right? So you raise your hands. So let's start with the first two. So Rodrigo and... Soveida. Okay. Uh, Rodrigo, ask the question. And Milena, please uh, answer the question. The first question. The first question is, what's your name? Okay. My name's Beth. Okay. Soveida, uh, can you please ask the second question? And Ana Maria, you answer the question. Okay, where's your friend? Where's your friend? He's in class. He's in class, excellent. Alba, can you please ask the question number three? Who's son he? Who's son he? Miguel, can you answer the question? She's my classmate. She is my classmate, awesome. Thank you so much, one clap for you. And we continue with six more volunteers. Okay, six new volunteers for the next three questions. Okay, Karen, Sonia, excellent, we have two. Loida, three. Okay, I need three more, three more. Let me check, Victoria, four. I need two more volunteers. Glenda and one more, one more. Let me check, let me check. Raise your hand, raise your hand. Keep it up, okay? Manténgala arriba. Uh, Yancy, okay, perfect. So, ladies, power. Uh -huh. Now, let's go. Karen, ask the question, the first question. What are your classmates like to Loida? What are your classmates like? They're very nice. They're very nice. No Veranisa, right? They are very nice. Okay, excellent. Um, Glenda, ask the, sec the next question to Victoria, please. Where are you and Luisa from? Victoria? The microphone is off. Sorry, sorry. No problem. We're, we're from Brazil. We're from Brazil. Okay, Jancy, can you please ask the last question? Last question. How were your classes? How are your classes? How are your classes? Answer. Who was missing? Damn. Who was missing? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're missing someone. Alguien se escapó. Okay, someone escaped from the answers. Okay, so I'm oh, going to... Teacher. Hello? Perdón, teacher. Eh, según yo había activado el audio y lo desactivé, perdón, sorry. Okay. Eh, they really interesting. They're really interesting. That's correct. Thank you so much. One clap for you and we continue. So, basically, we can say that we use uh, what for specific uh, action, right? Or a specific thing like what's your name? Uh, what is that? Uh, let's see, what is the time, right? So specific things like and activities. Uh, what's your favorite hobby, etc. Where we use it for locations, for place, okay? I'm going to take some annotations here so that you can see it, okay? So where we can associate it with 
place. Then uh, when somebody mentioned when in the in the chat, when is for time, for example. Then we have uh, why. The question why is for reason or explanation. Okay, reason or explanation. So why are you studying English? Why are you studying English? What is the reason to study English? So if, you, if some volunteers want to write in the chat your reason to study English, okay, do it. So that's it, the answer to the question why, okay? The reason or the explanation for something. Um, what else? Who is for person, right? For person. Who is your mother? Who is your boss? Who is your sister? Who is the teacher? Who is your classmate? Who is your husband? Who took a shower today? Quien se bañó? Okay, so. Then, um, how? It's for. Wait a second. I think somebody's raising the hand. Ah, okay, got it. Lower the hand. So the manner or the way of doing something. Okay. Um, so for example, how were you or how can you make or how do you make a uh, pizza? How do you make a pizza? How do you prepare a pizza? Or how is the class? How is the class? It's good, it's interesting. Uh, so we can use that for different reasons. Okay, so that's a, an example, right? Of, or an, a little explanation about the WH question, the meaning. If you want to know about a person, who? If you want to know the reason, why? Um, if you want to know the way of, or the manner, how? If you want to know the place and time, you know that is where and when. So, um, for example, where is a, Rio de Janeiro located? It's where? located in Brazil. In Brazil, okay. Where is Beijing located? Where is Beijing? In China. It's in China, okay. Where is Bogota? It's in? Colombia. Colombia. Where is uh, the Cuscatlan Stadium? Salvador. In San Salvador, right? In El Salvador. Excellent. So um, that's the, the way that we can use the questions. Now, let's continue. Uh, you are going to complete the questions, okay? And you are going to practice with a partner. So in this case, you are going to do it alone. I am going to give you, what? Two minutes maximum. So uh, I suppose that you have a notebook, right? So please write down the numbers. Number one, number one is complete. So number two, three, four, five, and six, and write the correct question. The correct question and the correct verb form. Okay, la correcta forma del verbo. The correct verb form of the verb to be, verb to be, don't forget. So in the verb to be, you know that you have three forms. Am, is, and are. So, no, number one, who's that? Oh, that's Miss West. So you have to look at the, at the answer to complete the question, okay? The analyze, Think about the, the, the answer and then write down the correct question corresponding to that. 
¿Ok? En base a la respuesta tienen que deducir cuál es la pregunta que se está haciendo. ¿Ok? So, two minutes, individually. Begin now. ¿Ok? So, in your notebook, copy that. And then I will send you to the breakout rooms to practice with your partner. Okay, you have one more minute. I have a question, teacher. Uh -huh. In the case uh, for the plural, uh -huh. uh, number five, where e, without apostrophe, because we we can say where, where, where is uh -huh. where are. It's not it's possible to use from. the apostrophe. No, it's not possible no. to use the contraction. It's no. just for, for the singular form. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I need to communicate with my family in the US. That's why I need to learn English. Okay, that's a good reason to learn English. Okay, time is up. So we stop. Now, let's check what you have. Okay, I need one volunteer to give me the, the answer for number two. Where? Where? What's speaking? Where? Margarita. Where? Is she from? Where is she from? That's correct. Where is she from? She's from Miami. Okay. Ana Maria, number three. What is what's her first name? What's her first name? It's Celia. Okay, excellent. Uh, Rodrigo, number four, please. Who are, who are the two students over there? Who are? Who are the two students over there? Their yes. names are Jeremy Jerry. and Karen. Okay, correct. Number five, one volunteer, please. For number five. Where is? Uh huh, Karen, go ahead. Where are they from? Where are? Where? In this case, is is or are? That is the question, right? Where, where is are? Where is, is are? Uh -huh. Are. Where, where are, are they are, yes, from? Yes. Uh -huh. So you have to identify the subject, right? If the subject is plural, like they or we, we need this, the, or you, right? We need the verb form of the verb be in plural. So it's are. Where are they from? Where are we from? Where are you from? Okay. If it is singular, like uh, he, she, it, we say is. Where is she from? Where is he from? Where is it from? And if it is I, like the first person, right? Where am I? am I from, right? So that's the way we do it. 
They're from Vancouver, Canada. Number six. One volunteer for number six. S'il vous plaît. What are... Elias, thank you. Sería... What are... What, what are... They like. What are... You can con make a connection uh -huh. here, right? What are they like? What are they like? What are... What are... Sí. What are their... What are... What are... What are, what, are, uh -huh. what are they like? Uh -huh. They're shy, but very friendly. Okay. What is shy? What is the meaning of shy? Timid. Uh -huh. Timid, all right. They're shy, but very friendly. Okay. So that's correct. Congratulations. So I am going to send you to the breakout rooms so that you can practice the question and answer in pairs okay so if you want to take a screenshot you can do it in this moment okay ready so you're going to practice asking answering asking answering the questions so maybe you can do three and three right pueden hacer tres y tres tres preguntas y tres respuestas Para intercambiar. So, ready? We have ready. Ready, Freddy? I was ready. I was yes, born ready. I was born ready. That's correct. So, I am going to send you to the breakout rooms in this, well, on this particular moment. Let me check. Everybody has a pair. Yes, one, two, three. Perfect. Let's go. Accept the invitation, please. You have exactly four minutes to complete this activity. Maximum four minutes. Okay, excellent. Welcome, Gabriela. Okay, Ana Gloria, can you hear me? Ana Gloria, are you there? Apparently, no. So I'm going to go with Gladys. Hello, Gladys. No puede hablar, dice yeah, la compañera. Sí. It's not possible in this moment for her. So let's practice together, uh, Gladys. Eh, me voy a meter al, a la captura. Okay, let me share the screen. Ya. Yeah. Okay, so who's that? Oh, that. Miss, ¿cómo se dice ahí, teacher? West. West, Miss West. Okay. Uh, where is she from? Where is she from? She's from Miami. Okay. What, what's her first name? It's Celia. Okay. Now you ask me the question four, five, and six. Okay. Who are the two students? Over time. Over, Here. over there. Over here. There. Their names are Jeremy and Karen. We are the we are the from from where? Where we are the from. Where are they from? That's correct. We are they from. They're from Vancouver, Canada. What are they like? What are they like? Where are they like? They're shy, but very friendly. Okay, excellent job. Now I am going to ask you the question, um, four, five, and six, just a little practice. Who are the two students over there? Donde, donde? Number four. Cuatro. 
who are the students on the front? Your name are Jeremy and Karen. Their names. Their names. Their names are, are Jeremy Karen. and Karen. Their and names. And where are they from? They from Vancouver, Canada. What are they like? There's, como se dice? There's shy. They're shy, but very friendly. Friendly. Awesome. Friendly. Okay, really good job, Gladys. <laughs> oh, teacher. Excellent. Aquí vamos. <laughs> yeah, practice makes perfect. The more you practice, the more you improve, the more you learn. Okay. Okay, see you in a moment. Okay, so we're done. We continue with the next part. So everybody uh, finished? Everybody ask and answer the questions? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, yes, perfect. Teacher. Do you have questions about the vocabulary, about the pronunciation, about WH questions? No questions. So far, so good. Solamente todo bien. Okay. Clear like Coke. Clear like coffee or like the Lempa River. Like Coca-Cola. During Clear winter, like Coca-Cola. Coca okay. So, uh, so far, so good. That's an, an expression. So far, so good. Hasta el momento, todo bien. So far, so good. Okay. So let's continue. Um, going to share the screen. Here we go. Okay, so um, one way in which people communicate is by greetings. Normally we say hello, hi, and that's it, right? In El Salvador, in El Salvador, we normally use some greetings. What is what is common in El Salvador? A handshake? A bow? A kiss on the cheek? A hug? Uh -huh. Or a pat, a pat on the back? A handshake and hug. Handshake? Yeah. Is the number one, right? Number one. <clears throat> number two? Hug. Oh. A hug or a kiss on the cheek? Mm. A kiss on the cheek. A kiss on, For the, cheek. Women, a kiss a kiss on the, the cheek. For women, right, a kiss on the cheek. It's very common, okay? So maybe kiss on the cheek is number two. And hug, number three. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It depends, right? It depends on the person because with your family is one thing, with your friends is another thing, with your coworkers it's another type of greeting, with new people it's another kind of greeting, right? So uh, on the street with new people it's different. So, but these are greetings around the world, okay? So first of all, we are going to practice the pronunciation. Listen and repeat. Handshake, 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 okay, handshake, that's the, the second one, bow, bow, three, kiss on the cheek, kiss on the cheek, cheek, right, cheek, um, cheek, and then hug, hug, and number five, pat on the back. Pat on the back. Pat on, 
right? Pat, uh, when you say pat, but if you connect pat on, you say pat on. La T se vuelve como una R para conectarla con la siguiente. Pat on the back. Pat on the back. Una palmadita, right? Pat on the back. Like, good job. Um, now, um, quickly, uh, about, about, in which countries do you see this more commonly? In which countries? In Japan. Japan, China, right? China, Japan. Like Asian. Uh, China? Asian. Asian. Asian countries, uh -huh. países asiáticos, right? Asian countries. Okay. Yeah, we can say that Asian, uh, some Asian countries, um, we have to be specific, some Asian countries do that. Yes. Uh, a hug? Well, a kiss on the cheek? Where is that common? In Spain. Spain. Europe. In Europe. Latin American, Europe, yes. In Europe, right? Uh, in Europe, mm -hmm. it's very common in, in some European countries like, Fran like France. Um, France. But it's just like not really kissing, right? It's just like chick and chick, and that's it. It's not so real. It doesn't feel so real. Um, a hug? Oh, all countries. I think this, yeah, this is common in a lot of countries, in a lot of continents, but not in all the continents. For example, in Japan, if you want to give a hug or in, I don't know, uh, different countries, it's not respectful. No es algo respetuoso, okay? Uh, try to to have physical contact, okay? In the United States, for example, if you want to hug someone, it's not a good idea because they are more accustomed to handshake. They give a hug if they are your friends, if they know you, but if you are a new person, they don't like too much physical contact. In Latin America, yes, we, we like physical contact. But in other continents, in other countries, not too much. So you have to keep that in mind. Okay? Ten, de entenderlo en mente. Um, so it's better that you ask. Okay? That you investigate. If you are going to travel, right? For example, you're going to, I don't know, to China. You can investigate. Is it okay to give a kiss on the cheek in China? <laughs> Maybe not. Right? So, um there is a there is a no saying when in rome do as the romans ese es el dicho okay when in rome do as the romans es lo más sabio para sobrevivir okay hay que ver lo que hacen los demás e imitarlo uh, para no equivocarnos so when in rome do as the rome as the romans now let's continue um quickly we're going to um move on with how is it going how is it going how is it how's it going how is it how's it how's it going this is another way to say how are you right how are you doing so uh hey david how's it going fine thanks how are you? Pretty good. So are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. Okay, so this is the conversation. Uh, some keywords that you have to pay attention to to practice are interesting, interesting. Uh, some people say interesting and it's okay. Um, so interesting, 
chemistry, chemistry, okay, it's not chemi, it's not chem, chemis, okay, it's chemistry. And the other word is cafeteria, right? Cafeteria. Uh, so that's it. Now you are going to go and practice in the breakout room with the same person that you were in the previous exercise. So I'm going to send you there right now. Take a screenshot, please, of the conversation. Ready? Yes. Questions? No. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. No. No yet. <laughs> no yet. Okay. Um, one thing, when you are in the breakout rooms, aunque sea en los breakout rooms, siempre pueden pedir ayuda. Okay. Aparece una opción de ask for help. No sé en español, creo que sería como pedir ayuda uh, o ayuda. Y al apretarla, a mí me cae una notificación de que alguien está pidiendo ayuda en tal breakout room. Okay. So I can go there. Ready, set, and go. Accept the invitation, please. Okay. And okay, Sonia, Anna, are you there? Okay, nice. Anna Gloria, can you hear me? Okay, so Gladys. Hola. Okay, so you are some here right now? Yes. Let me share the screen. Yes. Here it is. Ready, set, yes. go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hola, sí, sí. ¿Cuál sería? Hey, David, son he. Uh, yo ahorita yeah. son he. Mm -hmm. Bye. Hey, David, who's is going? How's it going? How's how's, it? how's, how's it? is how's is is going? How is it? How is it how, going? How's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. cool. Pretty good. Pretty cool. So are you class interesting? This, ¿cómo se dice semestre? Semester. Semester. Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you um, bet in the some class? Same class? Same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way um, to, to take cafeteria. Cafeteria. No, uh -huh. cafeteria, no. Are you free? Sure, let's go. <laughs> okay, excellent. So we're going to uh, go back because I think that the majority of your classmates finished probably. Mm, sure. mm -hmm. So see you in a moment. Oh. Okay. <laughs>
All right. So your the rest of your while the rest of your classmates are coming back, okay, I'm just going to remind you, right? How's it going? How's it going? Or how's it going? It's uh, another way to ask how are you, right? So you need to learn different options, different options, different ways to ask and different ways to answer the questions, okay? Remember that the language and the people are random, okay? Uh, so some people like to ask, how are you? Some people like to ask, what's up? Some people like to ask, how's everything? Some people like to ask, how do you do? Uh, what have you been up to? So you need to know how to answer different questions. Okay, now we're going to make a little parenthesis here because uh, Alba, you have a question? Sorry, yes. Uh, when I say I'm, I'm on my way, es como voy... De camino. Es como... O en cam... Ajá. Voy de camino a... Voy, a... voy de camino. Ah, oh. voy de camino. Ah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm on my way. I'm on my way, voy de camino. If you say I'm on my way home, for example, I'm on my way home, de camino a casa, I'm on my way to work, to, on my way to work, Voy de camino a trabajar o al trabajo, right? My way. Okay, to my job. So there, that's expression, on my way. I'm, I am on my way. If you want to say, eh, ya viene de camino ella. She's, she's, on, she's on her way. She's on her way. On her way. So uh, that's expression. Now I am going to share with you the, the screen with the platform, okay? I just want to mention something before the class is over. Um, so the exercise that you have to be finished by now is right here, right? With the knowledge check. Um, the instructions are in English and Spanish. Okay, aquí no hay problema. Igual ustedes pueden eh, utilizar recursos para entender cualquier palabra que sea difícil. Um, Algo que es importante para aquellos que no han utilizado mucho la plataforma o son nuevos en ella, es que uh, la plataforma es bien exacta en el sentido de que si, si falta, si la I, que para decir yo, la ponen con una I minúscula y no mayúscula, se las puede identificar como incorrecta. Eh, si la oración tiene que empezar con, con letra mayúscula, como tendría que ser, y no lo ponen, eso también lo, lo, lo interpreta como incorrecto, si le falta la coma, el apóstrofe, el signo correcto, el símbolo correcto del apóstrofe, eh, porque a veces ponemos una que parece una coma y no la reconoce, sino que reconoce la que es recta. Eh, normalmente en el teclado está a la par del cero, de la parte de arriba, eh, ese es la, el apóstrofe. Eh, El punto al final de la oración, la coma, o sea, son detallitos pequeñitos que pueden ser un problema a la hora de eh, que les marque como correcta una, una respuesta. En este caso son opciones múltiples, este ejercicio, ¿verdad? Pero supongamos que ya están trabajando en el siguiente, que es el WH Questions, que ahora sí ya lo, ya lo, ya lo vimos un poco. No, no me da algo, sí. Puede que eh, empiecen a ver un poquito más. Bueno, aún esto es, es un poco fácil. Ok. Porque sí aparece una opción múltiple, pero de otro estilo. Um, pero como sé que algunos van a ir un poquito más acelerados cuando lleguen a una parte que tengan que escribir. Ahí es donde tienen que poner atención a eso. Y revisen que no se les hayan, hayan comido alguna letra o hayan puesto una de más. Eh, eh, todo eso influye. Ok. En esa parte. Hola. Hello. En esa parte yo ya intenté. Lo puse de todas formas, pero siempre me lo tiré incorrecto. Ok. Cuando eso suceda, que ya intentaron todas las maneras y buscaron, estudiaron, repasaron, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Eh, tomen una captura y la, la envían, ok, en el caso este, ya el grupo de, de WhatsApp, 
para poder ver qué se puede hacer. Si acaso, a veces puede suceder, somos humanos, que haya un error a la hora de haber ingresado las preguntas o las respuestas a la plataforma. Y si no, pues ahí no. Le, les apoyamos diciéndoles qué pueden corregir para que ya esté correcto. Pero la idea es que ustedes traten de hacerlo bien y si hay algo que no pueden, por más que intenten, ahí sí ya les damos una respuesta. Eh, Milena. Disculpe. Eh, ahí sí, so, en lo complicado ahí es poner United States con U y S en minúscula y así sí lo acepta. Ok. So, um, eso, pero bueno, por lo menos este ejercicio sí lo podemos revisar un poco después porque todavía no corresponde, digamos, al, a la, al progreso, pero sí, si tienen alguna duda, sí me la pueden enviar y yo se las respondo tal vez. Bueno. Es que tenemos que subir la sección 1 y la 2. Tiene que estar completa el viernes. Entonces, por eso este tenemos viernes. que hacer. Ah, ok. Uh, uh -huh. Permítame entonces. Y okay. es por eso que le preguntaba. Ok, entonces, uh, vamos a ver. 1.7. Let me check here. Era la 1.12. Con Glenda teníamos el mismo problema. Hay que cerrar con punto cada oración, si no, no lo acepta. El punto tiene que, sí, definitivamente. Eh, son detallitos pequeñitos, ¿ok? Pero sí, entonces, after the class, now that we finish, we are going to continue answering those questions in the WhatsApp group, ¿ok? So, um, let me check. I will give you the example, right? So you send a screenshot like this, right? I see myself there. Saying hello and yeah, good. So that's it. We're going to be in touch. We're going to continue uh, discussing, right? Asking uh, the questions, helping each other, and something that you have to study, right? For tomorrow, for tomorrow's session is the yes no questions and short answers with b right so this is the part of the of the exercises that you see over there so it's necessary for you to uh, take a look if you have doubts let me know this is a little bit easy uh, to be honest with you but i will be there helping you uh from 9 to 12 to to 10 sorry um and then tomorrow during the morning um so my availability in the morning uh probably will be from 10 to 12 de las 10 a las 12 de la mañana voy a tener ese lapso también para poder seguir respondiendo si hay más dudas durante la mañana and uh in the afternoon from 3.30 to 5.30. That would be the like the other time that I have available. Okay, but don't worry. We are going to, uh, I'm going to help you as much as, as we can, as I can, so that we finish with your assignments and everybody can move to the next one. Okay, así que no se preocupen. Todos vamos a, 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 a completar las asignaciones. Hoy, mañana o pasado. Pero que salimos. Have a good night, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. I think, okay, no, I got it. So take care of yourself. If you have any other doubts, please let me know. Um, it was a pleasure to be with you and I am. I will be here, right? To, to be your assistant for free.
And I love helping, helping people. So don't worry about that. Eso sí, después de las 10 de la noche probablemente ya no le voy a responder, pero de ahí activamos otra vez el servicio mañana. Ok. Uh, Thank you very much. Bye, It's Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Goodbye.